Hello everyone and welcome to the Getting Started Lessons of XPB. In these five lessons, I'm going to show you how to set up your products online and give your shoppers a whole new experience. But first, what is XPB? XPV is an e-commerce platform that helps you show your products in 3D and to enable your customers to zoom in and zoom out and to see every angle of your product. They can change the product to every kind of color you want, to change the complete model, or to choose different kinds of materials. You can add as many options as you want, and you can also add pricing to your product so that customers can immediately buy what they see. You can use XPV as a standalone e-commerce platform or use one of our many plugins to integrate it in, for example, Shopify or WooCommerce. To get started, we have to go to the admin page. So that's admin.xpv.net. You log in using your credentials. And then you will find yourself inside of the dashboard. The dashboard shows you your customer counts, the amount of products you have, your latest sales orders, and also upcoming activities, your latest customers, and your latest invoices. This is the starting page. This is the starting page of your backend. To navigate our backend, you can open the menu and you'll find all the different categories. So the first one is the catalog. Inside of the catalog, you will find all of your products. So this is also the place to create all your products. You can also subdivide them into categories or add tags to them. When you do that, you can easily find them back inside of categories or tags. Our next step is the resources. So in here you will find your media library. So these are all the images, textures, or other kinds of materials you upload. So these are shared between all of the products, so you can use them for multiple products. You can also subdivide these into folders. Also inside of resources, you can find all your materials. So in here, you can find the materials of your products and create new ones. So for example, we have a goal here. So for example, we have a bolt here. This one can be used over different kinds of products. The next on the list is the sales tab. Inside of here, you can find all your latest customer purchases and all of your sales. You will use this when you use XPV as a standalone e-commerce platform. You can also find your latest invoices and also all of the payments. The next step is your productivity tab. Inside of here, you can have a calendar so you can plan all of your activities. Um, so inside of here, you can plan all of your activities. You also have your opportunities tab. So if you want to create new opportunities, you can add them and place them in the correct stage. So you can start from new to qualified to proposition to one. You can change these names. You can also add stages and add opportunities. We also have a help desk, but this is for creating your own tickets and to keep up with customer questions. The next tab is the customers. Inside of here, you find all your customers that created accounts or the customers you created. 
the site tab is used the site tab is used to manage your inventory and everything related to the site inside of the localization for example you can add multiple languages uh, for different kinds of countries and then at the bottom we have the team page inside of the team page you can do all of your team management you can find your details so such as your name your google analytics id you can also find your subscription and also your api keys going back to the catalog this is the most important page you will be in so inside of here is where you create your products and set up all of your basics so if you open up a product or create a new one you will start in the products info tab every tab inside of the xp configurator will have a logical way of working so you always work from left to right to start off with inside of the product info tab you can add stuff like the name the base price also in the description uh, and in which catalog you want to place it you can also add tags categories properties classes or add them to an inventory the next step would be the configure tab this is on how to set up your product and here we have a lot more steps also working from left to right starting with imports and checking your model tree to having a graph on how the model tree consists of you will have an attribute tab that consists of all the questions and options you give your customer you can also find all the components your different material groups offset groups and also pricing and presets most of your work will happen inside of the configure tab and we will go over all of these options in a later video next step is the showcase this is on how you're going to present your product so in here we can add lights we can add a camera so we can define uh, background colors and this is all to change the look and feel of the configurator the next step is the rules tab inside of here you can create business rules these are not always needed but you can add limitations to your configurator or add certain options inside of here you can work with a node-based visualized programming so, so we use nodes to combine certain options or to limit certain options to change visibilities this is all done within rules and the last step is the preview to see all of your work and to preview configure it before it goes live on your website in the following lessons we will go over all of these steps on how to set up your product